Hello besties, how are you today? How are you doing? You're welcome back to my channel, Easy Sewing with Ty. Today, we'll be sewing this draped cow dress with a Kyoto neck or bishop collar with lantern sleeve that was drafted in my last video. And the link to the first part, which is the cotton and drafting video, will be in the description box if you are yet to see it. Now to everyone coming across the channel for the very first time, you are welcome. My name is Taiwo and it's so good to have you here. To all my new and returning subscribers, cheers. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you all. You already know this, right? Now, if you are yet to subscribe, please ensure that you do so. Put on the post notification, like this video, share, leave a comment for me, okay? Thank you. Now let's get started. First thing to do is to add an interface onto the facing that was cut out for the front. After which you want to notch the midpoint, locate the midpoint. Then go ahead and de determine your desired wideness. So for this particular sewing project, I'm working with one and a half. So I'm just going to distribute one and a half that way. Then also determine your desired length. Remember that I've taken out 3 inches for the front neckline, so I'm working with 8 inches that way. You want to mark it. After which, you are going to draw out your V line this way. Just follow through with what you can see me do. Once you have drawn it out and you're fine with what you have, you go ahead and place the facing on the on the front on the front pattern this way make sure that the center matches up that way so you want to pin it down so it doesn't shift after which you just go ahead and sew it sew out what you have used your pen to chalk out after which you can now go ahead and cut it open that way then cut out the excesses after which you would go ahead and top stitch it you can top stitch it it's actually optional but before that i'll just go ahead and sew off the edges of the facing neatly that way before i use my m gum to fix it down onto the onto the front pattern then i'm going to give it a good poise and show you what i have now this is what i have the next thing to do now is to fix it to the band but before doing that i would want uh, a loose stitch on that lower part to make my gathers i'll be making my gathers manually so i'll just be running a loose stitch that way so to make the gathers manually, you just want to take one edge of the thread that way and start pulling gently. Make sure that the thread does not cut, okay? Just start pulling gently and then do the same thing from the other side. Just start pulling gently. Now you want to make sure that the rope that you are pulling from both sides, they are alternate rope. For example, if the rope you pulled from the right is at the upper part, make sure that it's the rope at the thread rather at the lower part that you are going to pull from the other side so you achieve your gathers that way now to fix the band you want to make sure that the midpoint matches up then you want to make sure that that gathered part is in between the two bands that we have cut out so because i want to be able to adjust the gathers part i will be sewing it one after the other after attaching the first part this way this is what i have then i'll go ahead and place the second band band and sew it also using half an inch after sewing this is what you want to achieve you can see how neat it is now inside out you have been able to sandwich the um gather spot in between the band so i'll just go ahead and secure it at the lower part this way then i'll go ahead and iron it out neatly and for the back i'm just going to go ahead and fix the band you know the back for my own outfit does not have a gather so i'm just going to skip that process and just go ahead to attach the band like so just the same thing i did for the front now placing the front and the back together, I'll go ahead and join it at the shoulder using half an inch at both shoulders. After which I'm going to go ahead and use a loose stitch to join the zipper allowance so I can join the two together at the side. Now this is optional, you can hold this down with your pins. I'm still going to lose this um, joining at the zipper allowance when I'm about to attach the skirt part. That being done, I'll go ahead and join the front and the back together at the side using the um sewing allowance that i added and this is what we have so far so now that i've joined the side i'll go ahead and lose the joining i made at the zipper allowance now to the skirt part so i've gone ahead to join it at the center front remember that half inch that i added when we were drafting this yes i went ahead to join it i weaved the edges then i ironed it out open i ironed it, ironed it out open 
now it's time to start making our draping so you come down by one inch from the um waist area that way because you don't want to make your drapings exactly starting from the waist area because you are still going to attach that to the upper part so you want to come down by one inch then start making your pleats you can make it as wide as you want depending on your preference so i know you'll be saying that okay the pleats you can see in the final dress is smaller yes that was because i later changed my mind i'll still be showing you as we progress in the class today but this was the first one i did i made it wide so after making your desired drape you want to pin it down like so then you want to run a stitch at the center line at the center line to make it neat okay then you can now go ahead and attach the upper part now you want to make sure that the side matches up with that notch side that side that was notched when we were drafting you want to make sure that it matches up so now i'll go ahead and secure the pleats at the center running a straight line then i'm going to fix the upper part to the skirt part and show you what i have now this is it this is what you want to have once you are done with those two stages you can see that the plate has been secured neatly at the center that way and i've also gone ahead to fix the upper part to the skirt part neatly so i changed my mind and i said i don't want the distance between the plates to be that wide anymore so i decided to make it closer so now you can just play with this you can try as many inches as you want till you get your till you get something that you prefer so i actually prefer this to the one i made um, earlier so i've pinned it down i'll just go ahead and go to the sewing machine now to secure the plates once i'm done securing the plate then i'll go ahead and fold it this way and then i'm just going to sew the center back all the way to the end i'll leave space for my zipper and i'll go ahead and attach my zipper i'll show you what i have once i'm done with it now this is what i have i think you would agree with me that this is more beautiful than the pleats design i made earlier so now I'm just going to go ahead and fold it at the end using um, the one inch allowance I added when we were drafting. And this is the back. So I fixed my zipper. I just want to point out something. When fixing your zipper, just extend it um, from the waist, from the half length by 3 inches. Don't make it too long like 7 inches or 8 inches like we do if it's a fitted dress. Because it's just going to go ahead and bulge excessively since that place is not fitted it's fine so i just thought to point that out now it's time to take the neck measurement for the big shop collar so like i said in the drafting video i have a very detailed um tutorial on how to make your perfect turtle neck or bishop collar so the link will be in the description box you want to check that out but i'll just be showing you how to take the measurement since this has a little twist to it it has an opening at the front so once you fold your fabric this way and you measure out what you have so for instance i have eight on fold that way you multiply that eight by two because remember that it's on fold that is 16 then you want to make sure that you add the one and a half inches that we removed from that front part you want to make sure that you add it so 8 plus 8 is 16 16 plus 1 and a half is 17 and a half it means the next circumference that i'm going to use to cut out my bishop collar is 17 and a half so i've gone ahead to cut it now then i'm going to be showing you how to fix it now to fix it you want to look at the midpoint of the bishop collar then divide your one and a half into two that way just like we did when we we're about to create that space at the front neckline then go ahead and mark it out on both sides then you want to take each edge that way and make sure that each edge matches up with where you have just chalked out then you want to use your pin to hold it you want to do the same thing for the other side and after pinning it down this way and you're sure that the space you have there is one and a half then now you can go ahead and sew off the waist just like um it was stated in my detailed video so you want to check that video out it's so detailed after checking that video out i'm sure you'll find this so easy now i'm gonna have to fix the first part like i showed you on the cutting table now it's time to attach the lining so you want to make sure that the midpoint matches up that way it is important 
then you want to place it this way neatly and then just go ahead and sew on it all the way and that is all you have to do to achieve the neat turtleneck now i'm done attaching the turtleneck this is what i have i also went ahead to attach the button loop i'll be fixing my buttons later now to the sleeve i'll just go ahead and fold it that way for the elastic casing i'll fold it wide enough to accommodate an half inch elastic then i'll locate the midpoint of the sleeve and match it up with the shoulder make sure that it matches up then you want to go ahead and fix the sleeve so now i'm done fixing the sleeve and this is what i have so i'll be i'll be telling you the measurement for the elastic and how to pass it through the elastic casing but before that i want to show you something quickly so i've gone ahead to pass the elastic for this one so while joining it at the side while joining it at the side remember that that was the same measurement that we have at the bicep that we have at the m when we were cutting this sleeve now to achieve more fullness to achieve more fullness when you are joining it at the side you can just go ahead and join the side at the end by half inch and slant it that way till you get to the biceps so you don't have to join it straight because we added the same measurement and the same same allowance i hope you get what i'm saying this is just to achieve more fullness at that end okay now the measurement for the Elastic should just be your waist measurements. It now depends on how and make sure you add one inch allowance because of course you know we are still going to join it at the side. So half half inch at the side to make it up to one inch. Then just go ahead and pass it this way with your safety pin or anything else that you have secure it then go ahead and sew it now at the sides and that will be all for today so i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial i hope that you gain value and i hope that you'll be trying yours soon okay you can share your result with me via other social media platform it's easy so you will type on facebook and instagram also please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like it share as well leave a comment for me let me know what you think okay so if you're yet to subscribe please do so as well thank you and see you in my next video bye